What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Shed. My name is John McGrath, this is my YouTube channel Man In Shed and today is New Tool Day, which is almost as good as New Guitar Day. Especially when you're addicted to tools like me, you can't get enough of the bloody things. Although, uh, where am I going to fit them all in this shed? I don't know. But today, I've just taken out of a box a new Triton bobbin sander. Now, I didn't video the unboxing because it's just me taking a tool out of a box and you don't really want to see that, do you? Do you? Anyway, this is, yeah, this, like I say, is a bobbin sander from Triton. Um, hopefully, this is going to make it easier for me to sand down the bodies of the guitars and also make templates. That's the plan, anyway. So, just to give you a quick, just wanted to give you a quick look at it and a quick demonstration of it. This is the first time I've seen this. So, um, it's my first impressions as well. I bought this online. I bought it off the strength of the reviews I saw online for it. It was very reasonably priced. I got this for 150 euros. So, like, that's half the price of the record power one. So, I'm hoping it's a good tool. It's a cast iron top. Seems pretty sturdy. Seems to be pretty well made. Um... They're supposed to be bolted down to, um, or they recommend you bolt them down to your workbench. I'm not going to do that, so I'm probably going to fit this to maybe a plywood board or something like that, just to give it a bit of stability. But um, it's not actually too bad on the workbench itself, so um, we should be good to go with that. Um, it comes with the various size collars then. They just slot down over the shaft. Um, then you have the, the various plates for the various size collars. Again, this has a vacuum system, so it draws everything down around the collar and out here. So hopefully the dust extraction is good because when we're working with MDF, we really do not want to be breathing that stuff in, especially when we're sanding it. So I'm hoping that's um, pretty good on it. So yeah, I suppose let's test this thing out. That's the next thing, isn't it? Let me, we'll put a collar on it. We'll put the big one on it. I have a template there. We'll run the template around it. We'll hook up the dust extraction. We'll see if it works. If it works, it works. If it don't, I'll tell you. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So I get set up and we'll jump back in. Right, okay, let's test this thing out then. So we'll put it together. Um, it comes with some 80 grit collars um, included in the box. Um, so we'll try out one of those. Um, a nice thing about this tool is actually everything you can store on the tool. So you can store all your collars on the back here and your various discs on the front which is a nice little feature I think and um, I like that just makes it tidy Um, yeah let's get a collar on this thing then so it comes with a base plate so that base plate sits under our collar so that's the first thing we drop him in drop the collar on that um, our sandpaper washer Nut. Hmm. That. Okay, that's that. Tighten that down then. That should expand the rubber. Just a bit tighten up. So the rubber then gets compressed and pushes out and grabs our um, sand and drum. Then we take our disc for that size and we drop that over the top. That sits into our deck. And then it's a case of, yeah, just hook up the dust extraction. So it takes a standard, standard size extractor. We have our workshop vacuum hooked up there. This is plugged into the workshop vacuum, so it's on auto. So I hit this, this should all turn on. And um, we'll sand a bit of, this is a piece of, um, template just for a guitar it's some mdf it's six mil mdf again like i say you don't want to be breathing this stuff in when you're sanding it so let's check out how well this dust extraction works and i'm going to put on a dust mask because i don't know how well it works this is the first time i've used it as well so safety first goggles on and let's turn it on hit the switch <laughs> Actually, let's get you in a little bit closer so you can see it too. Okay, 
Okay, that's a slightly better view for you, so you can see um, this as we use it. So let's just check and see if it's actually pulling the dust out of here. That's what we want to see. And that it actually works, of course. Okay, so it's going to get noisy again there. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. So we've got actually a nice finish on this. So with a little bit of practice, we've got to keep this thing moving. Obviously, this is a drum; it's a circular, so you can put curves into whatever you're sanding. So you've got to keep it moving, consistent flow um, around the drum, so that stops us biting into it too much. But yeah, I've got a pretty nice edge on that, and there's no dust. So success. That's pretty good. Right, there's a piece of ash. I'll just give it a quick run on this, just to test it out on something a little bit bigger. So we'll just imagine this was a guitar body or something. And again, dust mask on. I'm not taking any chances. And let's give it a run with this. So you can see um, it's doing a nice job on that curved surface and um, obviously this isn't perfectly at 90 degrees so but you could work it to, per, to, to 90 degrees off your plate which is nice yeah it's, it's doing a pretty good job on that and uh, not too bad a job on our straight edge I'll just give it a quick run, run on the straight edge just to see if it, uh, it do it so I suppose if you keep it moving across your straight edge nice and fast don't linger any spots because obviously this is a circle you will put a curve into whatever you're sanding so um, yeah that's actually not too bad i'm pretty impressed with that so yeah the triton bobbin sander it's a pretty decent bit of kit so happy days we're going to make some templates with this now and we're going to finish that guitar over there on it and uh, yeah so that's just been a quick tool review hopefully it's been helpful and um, if you're in the market for one of these maybe consider this one because you know it's it's half the price of the other ones. It seems to be pretty well made. It has plenty of power. It does the job. So what more can I say? What more can I say? Okay, that's just been a quick first impressions of this Triton Bob and Sander. Hopefully it's been helpful for you. Um, any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Um, I'm going to get plenty of use out of this thing building guitars. So if you're in the market for something like this, maybe consider the Bob and Sander from Triton. It even has a little place for your spanner. Nice. What more do you want? I've been John McGrath. This is my YouTube channel, Man in Shed. This is a Triton Bob and Sander. I'm off to build some guitars. <laughs>